This is Jeremy Drebinstead with Demco Products. In this video, we are going to cover the installation and troubleshooting of the reed switch on Demco's Air Force One Supplemental Braking System. The Air Force One actuator uses a reed switch for its notification. This is a magnetic switch that when the magnet inside the actuator moves away from the switch, it activates and lights up the notification light. It is important when wiring this up that you pay attention to the wiring diagram. As you can see, the wires are not color coded. Also, there is a ground that you have to run as well. Not connecting these correctly or forgetting the ground will result in the reed switch not performing like it should. First, locate the reed switch provided in the kit, as well as the LED notification light. Start by connecting the brown wire we ran through the firewall to the brown wire on the reed switch using one of the butt connectors provided in the kit. Next, connect the red wire from the LED light to the black wire on the reed switch using a butt connector. Locate the three-way butt connector provided in the kit and connect the black wire from the LED light, the blue wire from the reed switch, and on the last post of the three-way connector, we will run an extra wire that we will ground to the vehicle. You may now slide the reed switch into the reed switch clamp. To seat properly, it needs to slide in until the flathead screw is in the circle shape of the mount. Then take a flathead screwdriver and tighten it down to secure it. If you are having trouble sliding it in all the way, try loosening the screw and try again. Let's go over some common troubleshooting on the reed switch. If the light is staying on, first check your wiring and make sure you have it wired correctly. Also, make sure that the reed switch is seated secure and correctly in the clamp assembly. A lot of times it just needs to be adjusted. You can fine tune the adjustment of the reed switch by loosening the clamp with a screwdriver and sliding it towards the firewall on the vehicle until it shuts off. Check to make sure it comes on correctly by lightly pushing on the brake pedal while pulling out on the back of the actuator. It should turn on within one eighth of an inch of movement. If you've checked the wiring and made sure the reed switch is secure and tried adjusting it and the light still stays on, try removing the reed switch from the clamp and hold a magnet up to it. This should shut it off. If it doesn't turn off like the light in this video, please give Demco a call. 